Hey everyone, Chippin here, and welcome back to some more of the Return to Glory Hero Match United. Right, the scouts are back. The scouts are back. Back again. Ooh, yes please. P Puta? Peter Kusick. 84 to 94 potential. That's a banging player, that is. Okay, the rest of these are crap. Um, but still, that's an amazing one to find. Uh, here in Aus uh, New Zealand... Joshua Stubbs has got a good potential by the looks of it. The rest of these are crap. And finally, uh, in Wales, uh, Kai Roberts has a good potential. And apart from that, that's it. So we're one from each. It's not bad. We do need to send these bad boys back out to do some more scouting as well. Um, so let's do that now. And then we'll also check those players we just brought in. Right. Juan Perez. Just one. I'm going to pick some places, actually. We haven't been... I don't think we've been to Greece yet, so we'll send somebody off to get us some, some papa doppa loppa doppa Um Let's pick somewhere in the rest of Europe we haven't been. I think we've been to all of these, to be honest. I'm sure we've done both Latvia and Lithuania, but I don't think we found any good players. Let's go to Moldova. We've done Moldova as well, I think. Used to do Ukraine, I don't think we've done, actually. Although we might have actually done Ukraine quite recently, I think. And should we do an African one as well? I feel like we've done all of Africa as well, but let's go... Actually, let's go Algeria. I don't remember doing Algeria for a long time. Let's do a bit of that. Okay. Right, the three new players we have. Of course, the um, current ability is not massive, but... Uh, Peter... Ooh, he can play striker as well. Lovely, Okay. Uh, you, my my pal, my friend, my my, my man. Uh, let's play you Bombardier. Is that the quickest one for you? Okay, so anything bar press and forward gets you up in four weeks. However, I feel like I want to go for the more striker-based one to get your attacking stats up. Um, Stubbs is a cam. Your current ability is not very good, though. And it's going to take you a while to progress it as well. We're going to put you on Shadow Striker. And last but not least, we've got Kai Roberts, who's a striker. We've done pretty well for strikers this month. That's pretty good. And um, let's put you, I think, on... Yeah, we're going to have to put you on an attacking one because your attacking stats are shocking for a striker. Right, there we go. There we freaking go. Right. Uh, next up, then, we've got Burnley. Uh, we've got six wins from six in my last six games. Uh, we are currently three points behind Liverpool. So we caught them up a bit now. Just three points behind. Um, and we are currently two points ahead of Man City. And five points clear of fifth position. So Champions League should be okay. And of course, remember the last video, we actually found a slight change in the formation. Which seemed to work quite nicely for us. Pushing Rashford and Sancho in as a right forward and a left forward. And drop in Savic and Pogba a little bit further back. So let's go into that game and see how that works. See if we can uh, pop ourselves off another strong victory. That's the hope anyway. I would like to keep winning games. We're in such a good run of form at the moment. We, we started things off so rough. And I think we're in such a good run of form at the moment. Start things off strong then, please. Nice bit of play. I quite like it because it means that um, Pogba and Savage are not so aggressive now. So they sort of sit back and give the space to the more attacking players without it being too over crushed and there's a goal for Bruno Fernandes oh Bruno Fernandes oh Bruno Fernandes Right, can we continue on? Come on. Block him off.
Right, Fernandez. Nice one out wide to Wambasaka. To Pogba. In to Haaland. Here we go. Two goals in the first half an hour. We continue looking strong. Oh, we are looking strong. Whoa, we are looking strong. We're coming for you, Liverpool. We're coming for you, boys. We're not coming for your boys, because that's weird. Um, it, uh, yeah, ignore what I just said. That sounded weird. It sounded weird, that did. Right, Pogba. Nice one over the top. Here's Sancho. Drifted wide for this ball. Chance to cut it back into Pogba. Here's Haaland. It gets nicked off him in the box. All right, here we go. Right, nice one. Rashford back to Sancho. Oh, nice shot. Good, good block. Fernandez into Rashford. Oh, lovely cut in there, but keeper blocks him off. Right. Come on, let's not concede a goal here. Come on, we're doing well here. I need to change um, Dollarama from number 13. So I need to do the squad numbers, don't I, really? It's, well, we're late in the season now. I mean, I say we're late in this, we're halfway through, but we're not wasting squad numbers now. We'll do it at the end of the year. We'll do it when we start a new season. It's Bruno Fernandes slams it in again. Let's make a couple of subs to rest and relax some peeps. Um, Davis has had a bit of a run around. Apacano has had a bit of a run around. And Kubali? Actually, let's do Wambasaka so that Mukiali can come across there. Okay. Just got to protect some of these players. They're playing a lot of games. I mean, we don't really rotate the defense that much. We haven't really got that many defenders to rotate. That's the issue. Can you imagine if we added Mbappe to this front line? I mean, Rashford's still going to get a lot of game time. Don't get me wrong. But a front three of Haaland, Sancho and Mbappe. With Bruno Fernandes playing just behind. Is going to be insane. We could do another good central midfielder though. Because I don't feel like Kamavinga has the potential. Um... Looks like Tonali's still looking pretty good, though, but Kamavinga's struggling as Rashford slams it in 4 0. God, we're not just winning this, we are hammering them. This new lineup, just a little couple of changes in the formation, has just made such a massive difference to our goal scoring. Free kick given away. I mean, it doesn't really matter if we do concede, but I would like to keep a clean sheet, that'd be nice. Saved by Donnarumma, and it's over the top. Sancho hasn't scored, but he has still played a 7.5 rating, which is decent. Two goals for Fernandez, one for Rashford, one for Haaland in what was a 4-0 victory. And Liverpool drew. Which means we gained two more points, which means we are one point behind the league leaders now. How on earth have we pulled this back? I don't know. And we're four points ahead of Spurs. Oh, this is going well now. This is going well. Oh, we've got the Manager of the Month award as well. Lovely. Don't know how we have any more of those, to be honest, but there we go. Right. Um, let's continue building the fitness. I would like some more of these younger players to go out on loan, but I'm not really seeing a lot of um, requests at the moment. Uh, simulate all of those. Next up is the game against Leicester. 
even more trading. We get lots of trading days at the moment, which is nice for some of the players that don't seem to play a lot of games at the moment. Transfer offer up Meccano is not even going to get considered. I'm afraid 112 million. That weren't bad though. The Canate one would have been interesting. Um, I feel like Canate is one that probably will go, but once we get delete confirmed. So again, Leicester's another big. I mean, are Leicester a big game? Where are they? They are 12th in the league, so they're not exactly that great, are they? I mean, who's at the bottom? Bournemouth, Stoke, and Nottingham Forest at the bottom. I mean, I'm, I'm tempted to like play one of the not not a weaker side, but play one of the other lineups. But at the same time, this is working so well at the moment, and we need the three points to to catch up Liverpool. That I feel like we're just going to stick with the same. I mean, while while it's working, why change? That's always the phrase. Why change what works? Right. Here we go. Another big game. Can we get another win? So I'm not quite sure in the uh, before this, but I know we are eight wins on the trot at the moment. This would make it nine wins on the trot. Would it? No. This would make it eight wins on the trot. We've only played one game so far in this video, haven't we? Although we're a bit, a little bit more of a struggle here. We're letting Leicester have a lot of the ball. Nice. Okay. Oh, lovely ball into Rashford. Oh, he's taking a strong, strong touch. There, ruined it. I mean, Willis is one. I'm just still thinking about the uh, the Pogba only being 87, as we can see the goal. Pogba only being 87. Willis, of course, is only 72. He's got up seven points so far this season. He's away on loan, isn't he? 65 to 72, but I believe he does have a 90-plus potential, so he could be the one to take Pogba's place in the long term. However, there is also um, Tonali as well, who's progressing nicely. Rashford. I'm not having the best of games so far. Got ourselves a nice, not even a corner. What? They've made a substitution already. I don't know if that was injury based or. I didn't see an injury on him, but I did see a low rating. I'm disappointed so far with the front three. They've been so dominant the last few games, and all of a sudden. They're not looking as good. Right, we're losing. We're not playing very well at all, are we? Come on, lads. We've done it before. We've come back from behind. Rashford, there we go. 1-1. One, one. Definitely a lot more danger from Rashford and Sancho in these in this formation. Sancho's still not playing that great again today, though, is he? So maybe Sancho will be uh, sacrificed for... Oh, Martial? Yep, who can play there? Lovely, actually. He's very happy with that formation. Um, he's unhappy, old Jonathan David. Probably lack of football. He probably does want more, as does Kamavinga, probably. But Kamavinga is just not progressing very quickly. 
I know it's probably because I'm not playing him a muff. A, a muff. I'm not playing him enough. Come on. Rashford cuts it back nicely. Rashford again took the shot. He probably should have played it into Haaland in the middle. It was a shot though instead. Ball still in play, so the uh, Martial substitution hasn't happened as of yet. Now it's going to happen. All of our players' match ratings just went down. Nice over the top for Wamba Saka, who's a little bit isolated. Still managed to get the ball in the box, and wow, Pogba took a punt from distance. Keeper saved it. And there's the corner. There's the goal. Haaland from the corner. Oh, my God. If we pulled this off, this would be amazing. If we pull this off, this will be amazing. I mean, I wasn't even that confident when I said about us coming back to win this game. I wasn't that confident, and all of a sudden, we're in the lead 2-1. Come on. Good tackle, good tackle. Just hold on to the ball, really. Just hold on to it and see this game out. Or score another as Haaland oh, just puts it wide. It's going to be a corner, actually. Oh, he's done it again. Haaland scored from another corner. It's 3-1. Oh, Haaland. I think he has definitely picked it up the last few videos as well. Liverpool did win. Arsenal drew. Spurs drew. That's more points gained than some of the teams below us. Right. Transfer for Milinkovic. Savic is a no. No one's really making bids on the players that I'm willing to let go at this point in time. If someone came in for Jonathan David right now, I probably would accept. Should we have another look at the Mbappe situation? It might have been a week now. Is he willing to talk? They are willing to talk to us again. Okay. Um. So we offered Jonathan David last time and they had a right hissy fit. Uh, let's just go in. I mean, let's just throw 200 million on the table straight away. That's roughly his value. 341. Okay. How about we give you Jonathan David... And we reduce that down by a hundred and forty. Two hundred million plus Jonathan David. Okay, you're willing to take Jonathan David, but you still want extra fifty-five million on top. Um, how about we take that down to two twenty-five million? You know what? We've got the money. Bugger it. Let's just sign Mbappe. Just bugger it. <laughs> Let's just bugger it. Bugger all of it. We're taking Mbappe. We're putting the cheat code in to win the game here. Gonna make a hell of a profit on Jonathan David as well, really, aren't we? Uh, crucial, of course. Which is what you want. Um, Five-year deal. Please don't make me guess your wages. Please let me know what wages you want. No release fee. You want less than what you're currently on. I can I can offer you less than what you're currently on. That is something I can do. There we go. We have now just added Mbappe into our team. Um, the board are very happy with that. The board are very happy with purchasing Mbappe. That's a surprise, isn't it? Um, right, so into this team it means Rashford's going to drop. I mean, Martial. Now, if that offer for Martial comes in now, I think we can accept it. Mbappe in there. Um, and maybe Greenwood on instead there. Then I think it is. You know. Okay. Okay, there we go. 
Uh, well, we should be at the end of the video, but I'm like you guys. I want to see Mbappe's debut. So let's get straight into the game against Southampton. <sighs> then our next game's Liverpool in the Cup. Wow, okay. Barcelona want uh, Savic for 144 million. We're going to reject that. And Upper Makana, we're going to reject that as well. Because he's 88 rated now as well, actually. So we're, not, we're definitely going to reject that. Right, Southampton. Southampton, you will be the first team to suffer the reign of Mbappe, who's not 100% match fit yet, bear in mind. So he's not going to be at his best yet. So let's see what he can throw out. Let's see what he can throw out when he's not at his best, which is a scary thought, isn't it, really? Mbappe not at his best. Look at that. Sancho, Mbappe, Fernandez, Haaland as a front four. If we can just improve on Pogba with another... I think Tonali, like I said, has got a potential of over 90. So hopefully he can uh, progress ahead of Pogba pretty soon. What number is Mbappe? Mbappe is number 25 in this game. And that's him on the ball. Losing it already in the first four minutes. Welcome to the Premiership, Mbappe. Haaland out to Wambasaka. Back to Haaland again. Back to Wambasaka, who's running up and down the line with it. Not really achieving much. Gets himself a throw. No, he doesn't. Gives away a throw instead. What a load of old shit. Come on. I want an Mbappe goal on his debut. Just paid like £350 million for this player. Haaland into Sancho. 1-0. Jaden Sancho with a goal. Hello, Kitty. Are you awake now, are you? You've been asleep for like 20 hours, you lazy bum. Right, anyway. Nice. Pogba. Lovely ball. Finding Sancho, who's freed on the right again. Cuts it past one. Couldn't cut it past the second, though. Right, here we go. Ball forward once again. You just feel like every time we come forward now, there's just danger of a goal, isn't there? As this is Alfonso Davis at the left, cuts it back. Into Mbappe, in to Haaland for the goal. Mbappe gets himself an assist. And this is what we want to see, isn't it? We're just getting dominant now. I mean, we were getting pretty strong anyway with a new lineup and the way we were playing, but to add someone like Mbappe into that lineup is just, it's adding insult to injury to the rest of the league, isn't it, really? I mean, after the pass, the par? After the poor start we had, if we can come back and win the league this year, and who knows, even maybe more, that would be incredible. Really would. Wambasaka into Sancho. He's lost it. And that's half time. 2 0 up. Goals for Sancho and for uh, Haaland. Okie doke. I think I'm going to make the change now. The change is going to be. Uh, and Bappe move into the central striker and Haaland coming off for Rashford. Also Tonali in for Pogba. Why can't you play CDM? This formation does not allow CDMs. I don't know why, but there you go. That's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Here's Sancho. Ball into Pogba. Haaland. Here's Mbappe back to Haaland to Pogba. Mbappe oh, loses it. What a waste of money Mbappe was, eh? Losing the ball over and over again. Haaland, here we go, Fernandez. Come on. 
Substitution has been made that the ball hasn't gone out of play yet, has it? Look what the cat's trying to do here. She's trying to sit on a pad of paper that's inside a box of chocolates. It's a bit mad. Uh, Mbappe back across. I mean, it's all good football for Mbappe. Got the assist as well, of course, for the uh, the Haaland goal. I don't know if you can hear in the background. She's scraping away at the paper now. I do apologize if it's coming through his interference. You're an absolute nut bar, aren't you? Here we go. Counter-attack is on. And here is Mbappe. Oh, he took the shot and the keeper just managed to save it. All right, there's the double substitution with only 10 minutes remaining. Sancho now is the... Not Sancho, sorry. Mbappe now is the main striker. With Rashford one side and Sancho the other. Right. I'm going to have to change some formations up as well, I think, just to just to fit this all in now. I'm going to play around with the squad, I think. But there we go. 2-0 victory over Southampton. Means in the previous three episodes, that's nine wins out of nine. Spurs got another draw. Spurs are dropping away now. Really dropping away from us. They're nothing Spurs, are they, really? Absolutely nothing. And the next game will be FA Cup Liverpool fourth round. Wow. How realistic is that? Liverpool in the fourth round of the FA Cup at home. Who would have saw that coming? It's rigged. Anyway, we're going to call it there for today. Of course, if you have enjoyed, like, subscribe, have a good stuff, and I'll see you again next time for some more Man United Return to Glory. Bye-bye.